Okay, I admit it. I don't know much about engineering, but I do know about things that are edible. So I might actually be good at today's <laughs> task. We are going to try our hands at building an edible structure and see whose is stronger. You know what, all this gloating you're doing, you better be able to back it up. <laughs> now this is just one fun project kids can get into at the Children's Museum Tucson. Andrea Vesekian and Daniela Sequeiros are here to tell us about the activities. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for, having, for us. having us. Absolutely, so summertime I'm sure is a great time at the museum. Mm -hmm. So kind of give us an idea of what you guys will be doing this summer. So this summer, it's our busiest time of year. We have our STEAM programming. So it's incorporated in our daily activities, our exhibits, and also on Sundays. So Sundays, we offer $2 admission for everyone in the family. And we have a different community presenter that comes out and does activities. So this week, we have Bricks for All. Okay. Coming out. So is that the STEAM Sundays? Yes. Okay, so and, and we're talking about this is a whole camp with different different weeks or different themes. I mean, there's so much going on, I almost can't even wrap my head around it. So uh, let's talk about the themes that we have going on this summer. Sure, so um, each week we have a different STEAM camp and each week has a different theme. So um, this week is the Art of Glass with the Sonoran uh, Glass School. And then we have dinos coming up and we have um, the space camp coming up too. And then at the end of the month, the Children's Museum is doing our week, which is Edible Science, which is our activity we have yes. here in front of us. Which already some of our interns and <laughs> staff have already started this. Mm -hmm. This is kind of, these are, I guess, final products in front of us, right? Yes, yes these are their final. Products. So what is it that the kids are learning when they're doing this one project? So what they're learning with this is um, this camp is geared towards the littles, so three to fives. So learning different um, engineering skills about balance and structure, but they're also using prediction skills. They're using critical thinking skills of if it's going to work, if it's not. But it also incorporates a lot of math, too. You can make it really easy by counting how many graham crackers did you use, how many pretzel sticks does it take, and also, of course, how many ducks can it hold in this case. So how many ducks can mm -hmm. it hold is your objective so that it doesn't like fall after you put one duck on? <laughs> yeah, so giving them a challenge in addition to just building something, the added challenge of how many things can it hold. So um, you have a goal in the end to hold so many ducks. For instance, that one down there can hold two. I think he had four at one point, but he we did. kind of, we took some down. Um, <laughs> and then this one has one, this one has one. So trying to get as many ducks as possible to make the strongest structure you can. Awesome, and I promised Zach I would say our intern Zach made this. <laughs> You're welcome, Zach. So we're going to try our hand at this today, yeah. then. Yes. Okay, I'm going to get started. Yeah. So, dive in. And this is really just one of the activities that the kids will be doing at the camp. Yes. Yes. So, so maybe some other. What are some other things we can expect for the kids? So some other things we've kind of tossed around. It's all kind of still in our development phase okay. right now. So yeah. some other things we've talked about is. Um, discussing the different phases of the moon using fondant that the kids will make right oh, there. Yeah. So, so some really tough concepts for kids that with food as kind of a way to show them what's going on up there, they can use that as their hands-on component. Okay, and I know we keep saying the word STEAM, but what does STEAM stand for? What is it, what is STEAM, so the STEAM acronym? So STEAM is Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. Okay. So it's something that kids are learning in the classroom. A lot of school curriculums have added that to their daily learning. Mm -hmm. And so we want to continue that circuit of learning outside in a more interactive and hands-on approach for the kids. And the families can get involved too. Yeah, and just showing that yeah. um, all those components, the science, the math, the art, they all go together and they all work together. And it's not just necessarily one or the other. They can all kind of go together. And it I know a lot of teachers, I have teacher friends that say the summertime, it's really important to keep your child's mind warm. You want to mm -hmm. keep them still thinking and, and doing things, not just vegging out in front of the TV. Exactly. And you want them to stay active. And it's fun because a lot of the programming we do on the STEAM Sundays, the partners show them things they can do at home. And it becomes approachable for the parents to be able to do things from their pantry. Like any Anyone at home can do this. Mm -hmm. They can see what they have in their pantry and take it out. Um, and there's other activities that they can learn while they come to the museum. So we last week showed them how to do ubik. So that's slime at home, and we've done that with you guys here. And it's just the cornstarch with the water and mm -hmm. learning about how the solid becomes a liquid state and back and forth. So it's a lot of science at home that um, families don't necessarily realize, and we like to showcase that in the summertime. Well, how do parents and the kids and everyone let you know, I want to be a part of this or I want to come and, mm -hmm. you know, have my kids do something? So for STEAM Sundays, it's $2 admission for anyone. Just come on down to the museum on Sundays. And for our summer camps, they can visit our website, childrensmuseumtucson.org. They can see all the camps we're offering or they can call into the museum and register their kids over the phone. 
Does it count that I keep eating some of my? <laughs> That's the fun in it. I what in what it else? Is, why I'm else use edible ma yeah. materials if you're not gonna? <laughs> Well, exactly. That's while scene. you play. It's a snack while you work. <laughs> exactly. And I, I really think that anything that kind of entertains our children that's also educational in the mm -hmm. summer is really beneficial and it really makes a difference when school starts up again. Because, you know, the kids that are just playing video games and kind of sitting idle during the summer, that they're the ones that struggle a little bit at the beginning of that school year. So I think this is incredible. I think all of the programming that's that great. you do is just really, really special. Thank you. Thank and, you. you know, and it's fun to watch the parents learn. Yeah, because then they put things, they, things that they learned in the classroom. They can see it in action at the museum sometimes, yeah. and that's the or the see best it in a part. Different way exactly. Too, that maybe school can't quite use that same way because of materials or different things like that. So. Well, and the parents should really take advantage of the fact that they get time to do things with the kids mm -hmm. during the summertime instead of you know the kids coming home mm -hmm. and being like, "Mom, this is what I learned at school today." Be a part of that. Yeah, and it's nice Definitely. if everyone puts the phone away for a little while, except for when they take pictures. Exactly. We love when they show us the pictures of what they created and what they're doing. So. Mm -hmm. I love that. Well, we're going to work on our creations throughout the commercial breaks and show everybody what they look like at the end. But ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank and you for having us. This, this is, is amazing. So to get more information about STEAM camps and other fun summer activities, you can call 792-9985 or log on to Children's Museum Tucson.org.